Lately, some outdaughtered fans are starting to show they can't stand Adam and Danielle Busby's blatant entitlement. Some fans believe the Busby Quints have people surrounding them who don't have their best interests in mind. Adam and Danielle Busby show their struggles. While the last season of Outdaughtered had a big focus on Adam and Danielle Busby's marital problems, they also discuss how crazy life is getting and their financial insecurities. Furthermore, Danielle shares her challenges with living with an autoimmune disease and the burden of stress that is weighing on her mental health as well. However, many fans believe the series is following a script. Likewise, some fans are finding part of the show hard to stomach. When comparing the Busby's lies to many others, it seems they are far more entitled than they realize. Several fans point out how often the family travels and does fun activities. Furthermore, they have many nice things that aren't the standard when you think about someone not having enough. Fans are over Adam and Danielle Busby's entitlement. On Reddit, one fan states, the Quince kids are surrounded by sellouts. Then, they get examples of why they think this. Saying, the kids are surrounded by parents who love attention, money, and fame. Multimillionaires paid 300 mil per season. Made $450 off merch. Complaining about money issues while they own multiple cars, a $5,000 French Bulldog, Adam owns a $15,000 AP watch, and Danielle owns a $8,000 women's Rolex. As seen in their BT vids, their family and friends probably have seen $0 from them. They are selling their family constantly. Can't blame the kids for acting the way they do when they're surrounded by people with no souls. Fans discuss Adam and Danielle Busby's abundance. After the post, several other outdaughtered fans left comments about Adam and Danielle Busby's life. But money isn't the only resource fans notice the Busby family squandering. I do agree Adam and Danielle only seem to see dollar signs. The kids are their cash cows now. They probably think Joel Osteen is what Jesus is about. That prosperity Christianity, they sure don't seem very humble. I am done watching, the kids are spoiled, but what does anyone expect is all they see. Same goes with time. Always saying they're busy but Adam is totally jacked. Wish he'd put more time in getting the girls outside and playing sports so they'd learn discipline and outlets for their energy. I also was like, um, clearly Adam has a ton of free time because he's so muscular. I'm glad I'm not the only one that thought this. What I don't understand is if they're millionaires, why do they always argue that two babysitters are too expensive? With so many children, two makes more sense. The kids are exploited. Novelty has worn off. In another Reddit feed, some fans think that the outdaughtered producers are grasping at straws to find something to film about Adam and Danielle Busby. First, one user says, the novelty has worn off so now they are just grasping for things to film. Then talks about how the Busby quints were much more fascinating when they were babies and toddlers. Likewise, the poster thinks that the show is focusing so much on Danielle that some of the other family members aren't getting time. For instance, Aunt Kiki, Uncle Dale, and their kids. I'd love it if they would address the baby talk or perhaps focus a bit more on the older daughter. It's so bland now. My biggest problem with the show is that they don't seem to acknowledge or maybe even realize how insanely privileged they are. I don't want to see people living in huge houses with multiple vehicles and constant vacations complaining about finances. That may be petty, but it's true. Some of us are out here actually struggling and it comes across incredibly tone deaf.